Well, hello all you happy fish hookers. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Markham Park West Boat Ramp down here on 75 and 595. Out here you're going to have a chance to stick some peacocks, snakeheads, largemouth bass. You can hit up some cichlids or tilapia and such. So we're going to go ahead and cruise on into the entrance here. Now on the West Ramp, you're going to want to make sure you stay in the left-hand lane when you're approaching into Markham Park because you're going to need to take a left-hand turn once you get into the into the facility. So during the week this thing is free. You can just cruise right through. Otherwise, you're going to have to stop and pay on Saturday and Sunday. So stay in the left-hand lane. At this stop sign, you're going to take a left. Now, during the week, uh, but especially on the weekends, you're going to have a lot of foot traffic up in here. You're going to have people walking dogs. You're going to have people bicycling. You're going to have people running, jogging, hiking, doing all that sort of thing. So there's a dog park on the right hand, right hand side here where you're going to want to make sure that you're obeying that 15 mile an hour speed limit and just be careful, be mindful of, of other folks. You know, this is a nice family friendly environment and we want to make sure that we're representing our fishing community well. So this is a very well kept park. It's uh, one of the crown jewels of Broward County. And like I said before, you're going to have an opportunity at some phenomenal fish. Uh, mainly some of the things that most northern folk don't see, such as the snakehead and the peacock bass. Um, so you're going to have an opportunity at that. And these boat ramps are in, in really good shape. There's just a couple of things that are challenging. Um, it rained recently, so you'll see there's a lot of standing water. But this boat ramp entrance is right here to the left. And we're going to go ahead and head in here. Normally this is the entry point. The other side is the exit. Um, but with the heavy rains, it apparently they closed it off. But if you're skilled and you've got skills, man, you can thread that needle. What's up? There you go. So we're going to cruise in towards the ramp here. You can see it's really accessible. There's really no obstructions. Um, this is the way in. There's plenty of parking spaces. This is the middle of the week, and you can see there's nobody here. So during the week, it's fairly easy to get uh, parking. Uh, during the weekend it's a little more challenging so as you saw there there were two uh, ramps and we're going to go ahead and take a look at both of these once uh, we get situated so the ramp on the northernmost side this is the west boat ramp at Markham Park you'll see it's a single a single shot one boat one trailer that's it no side-by-side -side action this is a this is a single hole uh, boat ramp it's a fairly gentle slope asphalt leading into concrete it's real nice um, it's a real tall decking though as you can see the, the the dockage is also concrete but it's really tall so one of the really nice things I like about these folks is look on that signage right there they put ramp drops off look at that BAM there's the drop off of that ramp end of ramp do not go past that point you will hook your trailer over the back of it and you will have to have a badass four-wheel drive to get off there I've done it, I, and I had a, a, a 2500 HD diesel 6.6, uh, .6, and I was able to to pull my trailer off there. But if you're driving a little uh, two-wheel drive, you're going to have problems if you hook the end of that trailer. You're going to need to call a tow truck, call Superman, call me, call some friend with a good truck, Chevy, probably, whatever. But anyway, so that's the north ramp. Um, and like I said, there's two ramps here, which makes it real nice. Look at this maneuverability here. You've got days and days and days. If you want to practice a place to, to back trailers into ramps, this is the place to do it. Come here on a weekday. You'll have plenty of space to, to mess around, to make mistakes, and, and, uh, and learn. This is a great facility for that. Now here's the south side ramp on the west side of the, of the park. I mean, this is a mirror image of the other side. You got a little trash receptacles. Look at that. A nice gentle slope to the ramp. They have the drop-off marked with signage um, in the dockage, which is really nice. One of the things that's a little challenging, though, is there's not a staging dock here. So when it comes to accessibility, you throw your vessel into the water, you uh, tie it off on the cleat, and you're going to need a parachute or uh, you're going to need a jet pack in order to make sure you get to your deck uh, in a uh, safe manner. 
So this canal runs north uh, quite a ways. Lots of fun fishing down yonder way. There's lily pads. There's, you know, it's just a fun canal. Snakehead, largemouth bass, peacock bass, and the like. So as you can see, getting out of this ramp is real nice too. I mean, this is just real clean, real easy. There are bathrooms nearby, but there's no bait. There's no other food. There's no facilities. This is a pretty... Uh, basic facility but very well kept I mean this is a county park that you can tell they take a lot of pride in the maintenance and upkeep there are a total of 20 parking spaces so during the weekend it can get a little challenging to find parking uh, but during the week I promise you look at this I mean this place is empty you could drop in have you a great time during the week and such so the, the bathrooms are somewhat available uh, there's no deck for staging. It can get crowded. Uh, there's no guest parking. It's free on the weekends, which is or the weekdays, which is cool. But the weekends you got to pay, and then you're going to need to bring a jetpack in order to land your uh, your feet on the deck from uh, those staging docks. So, at the end of the day, when we take a look at this dock and this boat ramp, we're looking at. Um, one flat tire for the number of ramps because there's two of them but there's no staging docks we've got a half a flat tire for bathrooms available and we've got one flat tire for no boot food or bait being available uh, so at the end of the day we're looking at 2.5 flat trailer tires worth of aggravation when it comes to markham park west boat ramp but if you want to go out there and get and catch you some fish on a weekday go out there drop it in you're going to have ease of use for the facility and you're going to have a great time um, it's a canal it runs for miles and miles and you're going to have you're going to have some fun so here we are we're fixing to take a right hand turn this right hand turn is going to lead us outside the park oh look there's a bicyclist yay and um, like i said 2.5 uh, on the aggravation scale for flat trailer tires and i certainly do hope that this helps you uh, understand what this facility looks like i hope you enjoyed this virtual tour and at the end of the day one of the things that i want to make sure above all else is that you enjoy your fishing and you have another fine day full of fun and adventure thank you for tuning in this is captain matt weber signing out